Uh, hi, uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, this is Hamid Ali, and uh, I am working as a front end developer here in SpecB. So, uh, today I am going to discuss about uh, Drupal Tailwind uh, CSS integration. So, uh, most of the times we have used Drupal with vanilla CSS or SAS, uh, but this time uh, we are going to use it uh, with a Tailwind CSS, which is a utility first uh, CSS framework. So uh, first we'll begin with uh, creating our uh, Drupal theme, custom Drupal theme, and then we'll be installing and setting up uh, Tailwind CSS. And uh, after this, uh, we'll be adding Tailwind CSS to our Drupal theme. And uh, finally, we'll be uh, using uh, Tailwind CSS uh, utility classes uh, in our templates and see like uh, the results, how it works. There are uh, some of the prerequisites uh, like our local Drupal setup we should be having uh, and uh, package managers like NPM and Yarn, uh, Drush, Lando, we should be having all this, then we are good to go. So uh, starting uh, with creating of a custom theme. So in our uh, 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 local Drupal setup, we'll uh, navigate to web directory and we can uh, create it uh, in a normal way like we use to create uh, custom themes. But here in this tutorial, I'm going to use a, a starter kit command uh, to generate a Drupal theme. So here it is like, PHP core scripts, Drupal, generate theme. And then after this part is the uh, uh, theme name, which we want to name. We can name it anything. So uh, once we execute it, we'll see uh, this um, theme generated under our themes in our uh, web uh, directory. So uh, after that, we will uh, navigate to that particular uh, directory uh, Drupal Tailwind theme and uh, then we will initialize a node project uh, which we uh, uh, do by npm init command. Once we do that uh, we will be prompt with a couple of uh, questions like related to the project like name, version, description and all. So we will keep everything default for this video or you can type anything like uh, a specific like name, version, uh, description, whatever uh, is specific to you. But uh, for this video, I'm keeping everything default. So I'm continuing whatever uh, the default is. Once this prompt is done, we'll uh, have a package or JSON file uh, like this um, with all the default values over there. Uh, once we have this, uh, we will now begin um, uh, installing and setting up of Tailwind CSS. So uh, from uh, Tailwind CSS documentation, we have this uh, particular command uh, to install uh, Tailwind in our project. So we'll run this command, npm install uh, dependencies, Tailwind, post CSS, and auto prefixer will install this. Um, and once it is done, uh, post that we will be generating one more uh, Tailwind config uh, file uh, with this particular command. Uh, after executing this, we'll be having one uh, Tailwind.config file, uh, which looks like this, inside of which this is an important file because uh, here uh, under this uh, content key, we are specifying uh, that where uh, we want Tailwind CSS to look into uh, for those Tailwind CSS classes. Uh, so we are primarily working with uh, templates uh, and within our tweak templates, we write our uh, uh, HTML structure. So here we are targeting all the templates, uh, which is ending with uh, dot .twig extension. So we are mentioning the path here. So Tailwind will look uh, into uh, templates uh, directory with all uh, the uh, dot extend uh, dot tweak extension uh, files for uh, those Tailwind classes. Once this is done, 
then uh, we have to create a file css file uh, which will uh, be our source file for our css this all uh, three directives uh, we will be uh, adding in that uh, css file the css file will be creating in source folder uh, with name like index.css we can name it anything but uh, just to keep things simple i am naming it as index.css and uh, putting all these uh, three directives uh, in that folder uh, in that file and uh, save it this is again from the tailwind uh, uh, documentation so i am uh, adding uh, this here and uh, after this we will uh, be requiring uh, that compiled version of those uh, directives uh, which uh, will be generated after we run this particular uh, command so what we will do is we'll create a dist folder in the same level where we have our source folder, SRC folder. And uh, uh, once we create this dist folder, we'll be running this particular command, uh, which will take the CSS from uh, source, uh, source dot, uh, index dot uh, CSS file from the source directory and the output will be index uh, uh, dist index dot uh, css after we execute this command uh, we'll see that index dot css file will be generated under uh, dist directory and it will be uh, like the compiler version um, of all the uh, tailwind css which is all uh, there in our uh, uh, directives which is all linked over there so it gets uh, compiled into vanilla css because that uh, that is how we can use uh, this further in our project so uh, once this is done we will uh, will make our uh, work easier uh, instead of writing this again and again for the compilation we'll create two scripts in our uh, package.json file one we'll name as dev and other we'll name as watch. So we can name it anything, but uh, I'm naming it as dev and watch. So in dev, uh, I'm writing this particular command and in watch uh, the same command with uh, dash dash watch. So what this basically do and how we run these two commands is like uh, we can use either npm or yarn to run these commands. So npm dev, uh, it checks, it compiles uh, those uh, directives uh, into that dist folder, update that uh, when we make any changes and all. Uh, so uh, this we have to run again and again uh, whenever we make our changes in our templates or anywhere uh, we are adding our Tailwind CSS classes. Uh, or we can uh, keep this command uh, like an, uh, yarn watch and it will keep watching uh, for the changes which is happening in our uh, uh, files. Once this is done, we are pretty much done with the Tailwind setup. Now uh, we want to uh, add that uh, to our uh, Drupal uh, theme. So for that, we will create a, a library um, namely tailwind we can name anything just uh, to make it more relevant so i am uh, calling it as tailwind and version and css and component like we create other uh, libraries so i'm adding it there and uh, here i am adding the destination uh, path where our compiled uh, tailwind is uh, there not the uh, source one where we have uh, all those directives so once we add this, uh, we need to then attach this library. Either we can add it uh, globally or we can uh, attach it to particular uh, templates. So here in this uh, example, I am adding it globally uh, in theme.info.yml file uh, over here. Once this is done, now uh, we need to uh, test uh, our uh, whether those utility tailwind classes are working or not so uh, we can pick any of the twig template uh, a twig file uh, in this example i'm picking up page.html.twig file 
and I'm adding a utility class, this Tailwind uh, BG dash red dash 600. This is for making the background red. Uh, this is a Tailwind uh, utility class. So once I added, and uh, I should be making sure that uh, we have that yarn dev watch command uh, running or uh, uh, yeah, once that is done, uh, either we can uh, use yarn dev or uh, yarn watch, uh, either of that command, whatever we prefer. Uh, once that is done after writing this, uh, we have to clear the cache like we use after uh, in the normal Drupal projects as well. And uh, we see the output and uh, we have this background or uh, red color, uh, you know, applied successfully. We can do anything uh, like uh, we do in vanilla CSS, pretty much everything like flat box grids, everything. So we just need to add uh, and uh, create our structures um, accordingly. Uh, the major difference which we can see uh, with Bootstrap and Tailwind CSS is that uh, with uh, Bootstrap, we have every uh, we have components ready with us. But with Tailwind, we have an advantage of creating components from scratch using these utility uh, classes. So uh, this is pretty much it. Uh, I hope this was informative and... Uh, 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 it was informative and easy for you to uh, understand like how we can integrate uh, Tailwind CSS in our Drupal projects. Thank you. Hi guys, thank you for watching. I had an amazing time learning all the new things here at SpecBeast TechX. And if you did too, do let us know in the comments below. Keep following SpecBeast for the latest trends in technology. See you in the next one.